have the TLT ARGB All-in-One Liquid Coolo. This Coolo has two fans. It has a pump with a copper base. It has liquid coolant already in the tubes and in the radiator. The two fans are 120 millimeter fans, operate at a max RPM of 2000 and a max CFM of 57. But the difference between RPM and CFM is RPM is the speed of which your fan spins. CFM is the air that is being pushed out, so actual airflow. Next we have the pump. This pump has a copper base which is great for high heat conductivity. The pump operates at a max RPM of 3300, only uses 5 watts of power which is very good. It also has reinforced rubber tubes at a max length of 460 millimeters. This all-in-one cooler works on both Intel and AMD sockets, like for example AM4 sockets, AM5 sockets, and Intel's LGA1700 and others. Let's take a look at the cooler. First thing, there is the two 120 millimeter fans. We have the radiator with the rubber tubes connected. This is the pump with the copper base. And lastly, these are extra cables, screws, which we do not need right now. Okay, and this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. Radiator, we have the pump with the copper base and our two 120 millimeter fans. How a liquid cooler works is you have your CPU that produces a lot of heat. This copper base will then be attached onto your CPU like such with thermal piece in the middle. What happens next is the heat from your CPU is then absorbed by the copper base and is then transferred to the liquid coolant that is already in the tubes and radiator. It will then cool down and the excess heat will then be dissipated through the two 120 millimeter fans. And that process will repeat itself over and over, creating a loop that will keep your CPU nice and cool. The reason for the Tilmaltic liquid all-in-one cooler is because I have a Ryzen 9 5900X CPU. So this CPU was being cooled with an air cooler. What was happening is the CPU would boost to a higher clock speed and then it will trigger a temperature alert. I would have previously set up temperature alerts in the BIOS to let me know whenever the CPU reaches its max temperature. So when that happened, the CPU would then throttle down to cool down the processor which then resulted in a slower performance and lower clock speed. According to AMD, it is recommended that you use liquid cooling for the Ryzen 9 5900X. I look forward to seeing how this all-in-one liquid cooler performs with my Ryzen 9 CPU.